Moving on, this is the big one I want to talk about because it actually should have happened today. <laughs> Chinese probe and lunar orbiter set to make historic first landing on dark side of the moon. We're getting the dark side of the moon push again here, folks. This is so important. Let me bring up my highlights on this article. China is set to become the first nation to explore the far side of the moon. Uh -huh. After Change 4 lunar probe entered a planned orbit ahead of its much anticipated landing on the unexplored part of the Earth satellite i.e. the moon. Oh, yeah, that sounds good. So now they're saying China is the first nation to explore the dark side of the moon? What? Uh-huh. Bullsh... <laughs> BS. <laughs> it, is, it was supposed to land today, and I was looking on the internet trying to find a new article because this was from a few days ago. This was from... December 31st, it was supposed to land on the 1st. It's actually the 2nd now in China, their day ahead. If the landing is successful, China will enter the history books and proceed to explore the composition of an unexplored region of the moon to learn about its former uh, formation and history. Uh -huh. The far side has long fascinated scientists after being first photographed by the Soviet space probe Luna 3 in 1959. Whether or not the mission proves a success, Beijing plans to land astronauts on the moon by 2030. Well, we'll see. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been to the dark side of the moon. I know you guys know this, but it goes without saying. It's like, you got to really scratch your head because... China makes it to the backside of the moon before, you know, Russia or the U.S.? What? No, we've been there. We got bases back there. They want to announce this to the public. I did a, a troll video on the NASA live stream that was, God, when I published this on December 1st, so it's probably, it's been in November now that they did that live stream. If you haven't seen this, folks, go watch this. This is hilarious. I labeled it, Disclosure Begins, NASA Admits They Need Help. NASA basically admits that they're going to let these privatized uh, companies build the craft, and then they're going to use those craft to deliver their payloads to the moon. NASA can't do it, so they're going to have them do it and uh, use their their technology. So th in this live stream, I forget the dude's name, but anyway, they're talking about the dark side of the moon. I'm going to play this clip here. There are parts of the moon, especially when the sun and the earth are on the same side of the moon, that dark side on the other side there. It's so quiet there that we can see all the way back to the dawn of the universe in a way that we can't do anywhere else, not even on satellites. So we want to go do these measurements there. On the moon, there's water to drink some of these resources such as water, and we're really excited. You know, a lot of people... Uh-huh. So... Yeah. They're pushing the dark side of the moon. Why? We got bases up there already. Now this is how they're going to do it. They're going to they're building those space. So we can we can already start connecting dots from this show, folks. You got the spaceports. They got bases on the back side of the moon already. They got bases on Mars. They can slowly bring the public up and then they can say, "Oh, we built these uh, so once with the space travel they're using private industry, they'll supposedly build more uh, Bases up on the back side of the moon. You guys can go up there now with these uh, commercial craft flying from Denver. Go up there, go to the moon, explore it. It's all open to the public now. And then you can buy a ticket and go over to Mars if you want. You can see how this is going to be rolled out, and they're really going to use that dark side of the moon. That when I saw that that Chang Four Chinese probe, give me a break. The first ones to be on the dark side of the moon. Yeah. Uh huh. 